All this starts with Chris Greer mismanagement of the O-line personnel, investing in a bunch of free agents in the offseason that were waived. Old players, one simple place to look, Van Ginkle. Yeah? Yeah. And I don't know if it's the Van Ginkle's uh, loss was huge, but you had to pay for other people. And so Waddle and the Tua contract and – you got Holland coming up, and you paid Jalen Ramsey, and you just can't pay everybody. Now, you have a better coach. None of this is we're, – we're not talking about anything here. You have a better coach. You're 3-0, and 2-1. and one. You have a quarterback that decides to start making good decisions with his body. You're 2-1, two, you're 3-0. Two and, one, three and oh. So those are really the, the real issues. Now, because of all of this – now the front office is is going to get lit up. The quarterback situation is going to get lit up. And then you're going to talk about what you did or didn't do in the offseason. You know, Alf brought up the backup quarterback. You didn't address it. Well, that's because you keep list Because if there's one thing that I would tell the front office, you did it to Flo. Why didn't you do it to Mike McDaniel? Now you're all going, what are you talking about? Flo didn't want Tua, but the three guys wanted Tua. So the three guys told Flo, no, we want Tua. So they took Tua. They didn't take what the quarter, what the head coach wanted. So, but this head coach wants to go cheap in the middle of the line and was fine with Skyler Thompson. And in fact, said Skyler over Mike White, which I, I mean, I'm not a fan of either guy, but you all know I would have taken Mike White slightly over him because I told you he has slightly more consistency than, than Skyler. He actually sees the field better than Skyler. That's all them. But now I also have to tell the front office, guys, you have to put your foot down at times because this falls on you now. I get it. Nobody survives here. Nobody, as much as I like the three guys in the front office, I know the reality. There's a slim to none, and slim is pretty much out the door, that you're going to be given the chance to hire a third coach. Just mo Unless you're a Super Bowl winning GM, that you lot your coach retired and you got a couple titles and you've hired a couple guys and it didn't go well, maybe they give you a chance because you're a Super Bowl winning GM, you've been there for years, all that. That's not the case here. So in most cases, they're not going to allow a GM to hire three coaches. I'm just being objective here. So this is going to explode everything and anything. So if you weren't a fan of the front office or you weren't a fan of the, of the quarterback or you weren't a fan of the head coach, you're going to get your wish one way or the other, or if you weren't a fan of all of them, you're going to get your wish, or if you only a, you weren't a fan of two of the three or whatever, you're going to be satisfied one way or another. Because if Tua does if, if Tua doesn't come back and like tear his ass all the way through, that's the only way it saves everybody's job. Let's be honest. So yes, sir, you are correct. OK. Unlike some of the craziness here of bench Tua and Indian Indian burial grounds and other silly things that you guys are coming up with. You are correct. Everybody's going to get burned here, dude. If this thing isn't turned around. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.